Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Uh, back at the shop here. If I have yellow mm, chunks in my teeth, I apologize. I was eating some cheddar Pringles. So uh, today's been a handful of highs and lows. Some some good highs, but some some real meh stuff. So uh, for lows. So let's let's dig right into it, shall we? Okay, so first of all, we've got the uh, the ski, the whole front end on. Um, as you can see, there was just a touch of uh, gap here, so it's hard to tell. But there's I put one washer in there to to fix the gap. Um, uh, another good news. So I talked to Nate from uh, Bulletproof Designs and they're sending me new hardware for these radiator guards here. So those will be going on. And then I talked to Dale from 70 Degree Racing and discussed my issues with, uh, with the tank here and he's um, working on getting me a different tank. So that's really freaking awesome. Thank you Dale and Nate. That, that's been really appreciated. I, I appreciate it. So, uh, and then my buddy Brady saves the day, and uh, look at that—he got the got the uh, bolt out of the out of the counter sprocket. So, uh, yeah, that's definitely a high. I was I was worrying about that. So, started working on the wiring system for for the Tusk uh, lighting, uh, which will will kind of bring us to our lows now. So, I ordered this headlight thinking that I'd be able to use it and uh, this, it's not going to work on this bike. So that kind of sucks. Um, let's see here, the other low. The other low is, um, oh yeah, so Cascade Motorsports sent me a new clutch lever because I broke this one and uh, it is it's not even close to the right thing here look at see how I don't know can you see that it's literally the clutch lever is as thick as the material for holding the clutch lever so it's I mean, it's not even close to possible for that to mount in there so that sucks um, let's see here I'm trying. I, I'm sure there was another kind of downer, but I don't know. The biggest one for me was that headlight because I was looking forward to it. The one downer I do have is this big ass thing. It's just all these all these switches for these lights sure do make my handlebars busy. So, and then let's let's close out this little update on uh, naming the bike. So this is a tugger strap and. Uh, yeah, I couldn't help myself. I was watching a episode of Big Bang Theory, and uh, it was a Bernadette heavy episode. And I thought, hey, that would be a good name for my Husaberg. So this bike is known as Bergadette. So yeah, that's that's where we're at there. Um, oh, one other thing I'll I'll note to people. Uh, if you have a 70 degree tank, uh, I was talking to Dale about this because I, I, I considered trying to put a tugger strap on the rear and he really re doesn't recommend it, which I can totally understand, but it has been brought up in forums and nobody's ever really, nobody's ever really suggested one way or another how that, you know, whether you can or cannot and he really doesn't recommend it so that's uh that's the answer from the man on that so i'm gonna i'm gonna call tonight now and tomorrow we get back into playing but that's that's where it stands now so thanks for watching ladies and gentlemen and i'll talk to you again soon